Tifu by jumping into a lake in my bra slash panties to save a man that turned out to be an elite military scuba diver in training. I'm couch surfing with my sister and her BF, I work for him at the lakeside bar, trying to pay for college. My state is open and while I'm not thrilled, I need both the job and my scored sofa accommodations to make it work. To give them their space, and myself a break from the doom scrolling, I take a run by the lake in the mornings. This lake is bombass and draws scuba divers to the flooded town at the bottom. Today, I was in my own head running when a dark mass floated to the surface 40 feet away. I was on the craggy side of the lake and this dude looked dead. D-E-A-D. Facing away from me, his head was tipped back, eyes closed, bobbing like a fishing lure. No one else was around, so I thought he was quantum crazy out here scuba diving alone at the crackass of dawn, giving himself the bends or some nonsense. Like a jackass, I didn't yell at him to check in. Instead, I towed off my shoes and stripped to my skivvies to save the imbecile. The movie trailer in my head had me taking three glorious steps and launching into the deep blue water, Black Widow style. Instead, my tender feet hit the sharp rocks and I contorted under the pain like a slinky as I uncoordinatedly pitched myself into the water, doing a side flop. I was also wearing my contacts so I swam hard in his direction with my eyes closed. When I opened them, he was dead ass staring at me like I'd lost my ever loving mind, so I blurted, are you okay? He removed the regulator and incredulously said yes. My brain blue screened while I tread water. The lake felt infinitely deep. Before I could terrify myself by hearing the Jaws theme song, I turned to nope the hell out of there, yelling over my shoulder, I thought you needed saving to explain my idiocy. As I pivoted, another dude cleared his throat from 30 feet away on the other side. I never heard a sound from him so I freaked out, failing and belting an ear-wounding scream at him. Both asshats laughed as a few more heads surfaced around us. I was surrounded by divers all wildly entertained by my ridiculous high-octane F.U. After pointing to me in the beach, the merman that was my original target cautiously swam toward me after I nodded and escorted me to the shore. The beach was much further than I had anticipated, so I was trying to low-key breath, hiding my need to suck all of the O2 from the air. Also, the comedy of the situation consumed me and I started to giggle. Finally, I joked, dude, you are lucky you weren't actually dying because it would have taken everything I have to drag your sorry ass this far. He chuckled before offering me a tow. Hell, no. Not gonna happen. Even if I had to dog paddle, I wouldn't openly accept that defeat. He quietly mocked me the rest of the way to the shore. I'm a secret sap for it. They were cadets or recent graduates from a military college, here for the summer. They've been training in pools and were doing some open water exercises, they had been out there at least part of the night. I'm sure I blew up whatever drill they were running. He's training for pre-dive school? And since I am an expert Googler, I'm guessing that means combat diving. At the shore, I did my best to throw my shoulders back and march out of the water in my sports bra and undies in front of what I can only imagine are some pretty badass men. I did invite him and his clandestine crew for an absurdly overpriced beer at the bar tonight before shame jogging back into the woods for my clothes.